Good morning, tubers. It's Baron here with an update on the Coenzee's Curse Group build. Um, first up, we shall show you. Just, it's easier if I do it. Oops, losing my camera. So here's all my uh, infantry. They've basically got the uniform base colour on, and uh, I'll be painting all the other base colours over the weekend and hopefully get them done before the tank. Uh, there is um, this one here which is about 90% finished. I don't know how well how you can see his face but the sculpts on these faces are not brilliant. They're, uh, this guy's eyes look like he's been squeezed around the uh, the waist and they're bulging out of his head so I didn't actually paint the eyes I just put some uh, some black wash in there just to make it look like it's uh, you know he's squinting for a lack of a better word um, and this one here uh, okay can't really got to put the flesh tones finish the flesh tones there's any base coat on there actually went over leather pouch with uh, oils and shaded it and highlighted it with oils. I'm going to put some more highlights on it just to make it pop out a bit better and basically finish paint the backpack. So basically touching up on that one and that will that will be two figures all pretty much done. Um, then this one here uh, I haven't got uh, khaki drab paint so I thought I'll, I'll just paint it in a brown leather coat and then use oil paints to bring out the khaki drab colour. But uh, I'll see how it goes. I think I might just do a standard highlight with oils and shading with oils and just blend them together and see how it looks. Um, if you mix the oils with um, this, it'd be dry overnight, which is good. It does dry quickly with that added into it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my little trick with oil paint. There you go, I spilled the beans, but most people probably know it anyway. But, yeah. Uh, this guy, he's actually jumping off the side of the tank and he'll be uh, all painted up. I think I'm going to have a go at that one today. Um, a while ago I done a video on a one sixteenth scale uh, dragon kit. Uh, it was a figure. It was a 350 second Volks Grenadier. And, um, well, I started work on it yesterday. I started... Um, pulling parts off, cleaning them up and putting them back on again And but I, I've just got my hands on some acetone free nail varnish remover and I'm just going to remove the rest of the um, paint because when I had this I was a lot younger I'm not so bothered about how clean my builds looked and I am um, basically as you can see I've started removing the actual mold lines and, and filling in seams didn't even put any primer on this either but um, because this white paint that's on here, I, I think it's enamel because I've got a, a tin of Humbrol Polar White in my cupboard and it's an enamel spray. I haven't got much left of it actually, I'm not going to use it on this anyway. Because uh, you've got a nice um, camouflage pattern uh, with this kit, so I will be. Um, I think I might, might as well just adopt that because I think that's a good uh, looking uh, camouflage and a very interesting figure. So I'll do my best with that. I'm not going to take my time on it. I'm not going to even entertain rushing it because um, I've made a strap ready for the rifle or machine gun, whichever you may want to call it, which is one of those there. Um, I've actually. Uh, they got his little itty bitty hands. Um, basically, they're meant to fit snug, but they don't. So I think I might actually um, re sculpt the hand so it's actually gripping. It looks like it's actually properly gripping the, the weapon rather than just like. Hold it in his hand like like he's got it in a cradle, you know, he's cradling it. I don't want it to look like I want it to look like he's actually got a good grip on his weapon. But anyway, 
that's one of my little in-betweeners that I, I do, I'll like pot about on it for an hour one night and then I'll go back to a group build and then that same evening probably another hour I'm not sure if I've done an update on this but this is my 110 this is my weekend basically uh, my weekend kit has got a very fine coat of violet grey on there and uh, <laughs> So far it's looking pretty good. I've just got to put um, a dark grey onto this now and um, I've got to put the uh, pale blue grey along the sides. Basically I've got a mask. I've got to put, basically all what we do is we're going to put a mask, well not a mask, a coat of uh, varnish all over and then I'll let that dry overnight and then I'll mask off the areas where paint's not going to hit. So I'm going to be hitting this all along here with the pale blue grey and basically on the underside as well because we've got all the pre-shading on there yeah I know they're not straight yeah but um, I've got a wobbly hand I can, nothing I can do about it and you're wondering why you've got a wobbly hand in doing this hobby well I like to beat the odds so yeah that's pretty much it really there ain't nothing to report this week really I mean I haven't done that much nothing significant um, did like I said the tank for the group builds built, the figures are built, just started painting them uh, a couple of days ago and off I trot. Anyway, thanks very much for sh watching everybody and I'll uh, see you all in the next one. Thanks, bye.